Hey guys, it's been a while since we used electrical voltage in our videos, don't you think? Even if you don't think so, today's video topic should appeal to you. We are going to see how different objects behave under 220 volts, well, or in a wall socket. By the way, the gallium idea is not mine. It's one of my subscribers who is definitely in the Live Today thread. I was curious myself, the same metal melts even from the temperature of the human body and it can be dropped into a socket. Gallium becomes liquid at 29 degrees Celsius. Anyway, let's see what happens. I advise you to watch and nothing else. You can't repeat what you've seen, you can't. You know that playing with voltage is dangerous and involves a lot of unpleasant things. Here we are, tightly sealed in protection. Goggles and gloves as always on the guard of safety. This furry friend will be the first to feel the pain of the electric current. By the way, does he remind you of anyone? Ignoring the furry part, how about this? Okay, now, two seconds. Now we're getting it right. Guys, get creative and write down what the brand name of this smartphone would be. The funniest ones will get a heart under their comment. And of course, likes from the audience. We've been talking for a while, let's get started. Electric crocodile's clips, digging into the flesh of the poor kiwi. Apply voltage and the result did not take long. The smoke appeared immediately and the contents of the fruit began to turn into mashed potatoes. Now the kiwi can be used as a canvas for electrocution. I'm surprised nobody thought of that. Where's our Ig Nobel Prize for this idea? After a few minutes of experimentation, the Kiwi ceased to be himself and died. He had accomplished a lot in his short life. We have plans for today too, so let's get on with it. Next to experience the full power of 220 volts is liquid soap. We deliberately removed the brand label, otherwise the owners might be offended that we are testing their products with electric current. So as not to ruin the tablecloth, we use a Petri dish. It's not as bad. It has crocodile clip on the sides, and then we pour in the soap. Lots of soap! As soon as the liquid level rose a bit, we immediately saw it. The area near the electric crocodile clips became cloudy, began to gurgle. And sparkling, of course. Interestingly, under the action of the electric current, all the foam was concentrated at the edges of the petri dish, and the center was as clear as a field. If you dip a bare wire into the liquid, you get a completely different sound. You can even record tunes. The temperature got up to 53 degrees Celsius. Somehow we didn't even notice that as the experiment progressed, it didn't look like soap at all. And now it's the turn of what was shown in the preview of the video. Now the metal gallium will fight with electric current. I've already said that it melts at 29 degrees Celsius and therefore melts in your hand, but there's a problem. This process takes too long to fit into a 10 minute video. It also leaves your palms in silver, which is not very pleasant. So we're going to use a boon to mankind called a kettle. Let's dip the metal into heated water so we don't get our hands dirty and to speed up the process and watch it melt beautifully. Underwater it looks like some kind of jellyfish. Tactilely, I wouldn't say I'm touching metal at all. Tactilely, it's no different than water. We're not going to taste it.
but if you pour it into a mold, it will solidify again. Since gallium is heavier than water, it's the metal that fills the mold. The output should be gallium Lego people. The water has started to cool, so the metal is solidifying. These are the little guys we got. You can't tell the difference from aluminum. The man is certainly cool, but in the palm of your hand begins to melt. We hold it over the socket to melt the substance and get to where 220 volts live. We didn't have to wait long, the man immediately began to move a little, and after a few moments, he turned into a slurry. Let's try to pour. The short circuit happened, but the automatic protection was not switched off. Let's take a look inside. In principle, as expected, there is gallium in all sections, and liquid. We still have a Lego man. We will not be solemn with him and immediately connect the crocodile clip. It is very interesting. Short circuit sparks fly, but the protection does not work. Probably gallium is not as good a conductor as copper and aluminum. Although Lego Man doesn't care who's a good conductor and who's a bad conductor, he's got half his head out. From one metal to another. Yes, yes, the stuff they wrap the Kinder chocolate egg in is also a metal that conducts electricity normally. So, no question, we're going to have to put the egg in a vise. I don't think anyone on YouTube has ever put a chocolate Kinder in a vise. But first, let's do a little upgrade. Everyone knows that graphite is also a good conductor, so we will sharpen a pencil to attach a second clamp to and draw on the Kinder. Of course, you can't call it art, it's for amateurs. During the creation there was more than one short circuit, and the graphite burned out. Apparently the universe is against our art. It melted the poor guy down to his chocolate wounds. The wounds were so bad that they even reached the toy. What do we have here? Oh, a blue dwarf. Smurf. Okay, now that we've tested the liquid soap, let's test the solid soap. I wonder how it will behave when it's energized. Let's plug in all the necessary equipment and fire it up.
As we can see, the solid soap is also an excellent conductor. It boils with the current flowing through it. And the smell, guys. The smoke emitted smells 100% like incense, which means that in the studio at the end of the shooting, we were like in an orthodox temple. The soap even started to turn a little blue, and from a piece of soap, strange figures began to grow, which first bubbled and then froze in this form. We ended up with a monster, not a bar of soap. I wouldn't wash my hands with it. Well, we won't. I hope we showed you something interesting enough that you will not want to repeat it at home or anywhere else. Better click the like button below this video and don't forget the bell, they invented it on YouTube for a reason. That's all for now. Bye-bye.